Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you what you can do with Google Sheets charts in other G Suite apps. So let's make a couple charts. This is the data from Democratic primary 2020, New Hampshire and Iowa, popular vote and delegates. And so let's really quick here, I'm gonna organize this by, sort this by popular vote right now. And then let's just highlight just for the popular vote and we're gonna quickly make a chart. And let's just make that a, I don't like the column tree. There we go, there we go. And obviously we can play around with a lot of this stuff and I will um, be playing around with the colors. So let's make that red, definitely like that red. Okay, great. Um, I can also then, I can sort this now by sort Z to A. And again, let me hit the chart. And I get similar thing here, Del. Okay, great. So now I have two charts. Now the key though, before we do anything, as far as putting them into any other G Suite apps is we have to publish them. Because if you insert them into a G Suite app, you will be able to see them yourself. But then if you share that with the world, you may not see that, your, your viewers may not see that. So I hit publish chart and publish. Okay, there, that one's published. And then I hit publish chart and again, publish. All right, can we insert this into a Google Doc? Let's find out. So we go to Google Docs and we go to insert and chart and from sheets. And we find the spreadsheet right there. It has our two charts, great. Link to spreadsheet, I definitely recommend doing that. And it is there, great. And there you have the option to unlink or open source or whatever you wanna do. Can we do that in slides? You bet we can. So insert chart again from sheets. Choose it. Got my two charts right there. Click import. And again, same options right here. Just one more time in Google drawings, insert chart from sheets. Click select, choose that, and you got it right there. Now, we can also do this in Google Sites. How cool is this? So in Google Sites, under insert, go all the way down and go to charts. Again, you see your spreadsheet. It's got the charts there. We hit insert and we choose which one we want. I'll take that one. Okay, and it's there. And now we can actually play around with this a little bit. So what if our data changes? So now I am going to, let's say Iowa came back and oh, check it out. Uh, Sanders had more votes. He had 222,000 votes. So now that updates that chart. and you see the Sanders line has gone past the 200,000. If we go back to docs, the, I actually am prompted to update. I click that and there it updates. If I go to my uh, Google sites here, it doesn't have anything just yet, but if I preview this, it is updated. So it will add, that will just update. There's no even prompt for it to update, it just does. So that's really cool. And it just kind of lives right there. That's really nice. And again, it also has this little interactivity a little bit, which is kind of nice as well. So that is Google Sheets charts in other G Suite apps. You can make them in Sheets and then use them, you know, docs, slides, drawings, and sites have at it. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.